Hi, we're going to take a look at the probability of repeated events. I'll explain what I mean by that in a second. So the idea to this is, say we've got this type of question. Every time Clive the Giant steps through the door, there's a 10% chance he hits his head in the door frame. So therefore the odds that he won't hit his head is going to be 90%. And again, we know this because probability will always end up to 1 or 100% because he'll either hit his head or won't hit his head. There's no sort of in-between option. Okay, that was fairly basic. We can go take this slightly further by asking the question, what is the chance that if he walks through 10 doors, he won't hit his head on any of them? So therefore, I need to sort of win this probability check 10 times in a row. To do this, you basically want to work out each probability and then times them all together. Okay. If you've done tree diagrams, what in essence we're doing is we're basically going down the tree, the tree path where he never hits his head. And remember from that, we always times along these branches. So the odds of missing the first door is going to be 0.9. The odds of missing the second door is going to be 0.9. The odds of missing the third door is going to be 0.9. And you get the point. There's going to be 0.9 10 times in a row. Luckily in maths, we have a way to write that. And that is just 0.9 to the power of 10. Okay. You then work it out. And that's going to be the odds of him not hitting, not hitting his head 10 times in a row, which comes out at 0.3487 or 34.87%. Okay, let's see a bit more. So the probability of Jeff winning any point in badminton is 0.6. What's the odds of him winning three points in, three points in a row? So we do the exact same thing. I want to have 0.6 to the power of 3. You need to win 3 times. Working that out, that is going to be 0 0.216. Which takes us to the key rule for today. If the odds of an event occurring has probability x, then the odds of occurring n times in a row will be x to the n. So if I want Jeff to win 5 points in a row, that's going to be 0 0.6 to the power of 5. Okay. One more thing to learn with this lesson. Uh, so you work that out, we know the odds of just Jeff winning 5 points in a row is 0 0.0778. From there, we can work out the odds of Jeff losing at least 1 point. The way we do this is we have to consider the fact that Jeff winning 5 points in a row and Jeff losing at least 1 point, they're like perfect opposites. Okay? If he doesn't win 5 points in a row, then it means he must have lost at least 1 point. And there's no way he can lose at least one point and also win five points in a row. That means we can use the fact that probably he's add up to one. So the odds of him losing at least one point is going to be one minus this. And again, this trick only works if they're perfect opposites. Okay. And you worked it out and that's going to be that, I think. Okay, that's all I have to explain to you for this lesson. Okay, I'll do one more example. Um, so to win national lottery, you must select the correct six numbers from 59 possi possibilities. So therefore, the probability of buying is one ticket and winning. So we can basically do this almost as if you imagine a tree diagram. So we want to get the right number each time. So for the first chance of getting the right number, I have six correct numbers to pick from out of 59 numbers altogether. Now for the second pick, one number has gone. I've already picked it, so I cannot pick it again. And also one number has gone. So rather than being 59 choices left, there are actually only 58 choices left. So for my second pick, I would do times five of 58. Then for the third pick, it would be times four of 57. And you would keep going, okay? And if you work this out, this works out at being a huge number. So again, you basically all those 50s being times together on the bottom. So if you work it out, you get an answer of gives an answer of one over 45 million. Okay, so again, it's really likely to happen. Okay, I'll leave it there. There are some questions to try here. Again, I'll have some questions in the description as well, which are the same questions, so you can always put them out if you find it easier. Otherwise, I hope that helped, and good luck.